the gas strut adjustment is by a set screw at the top of the strut and it releases a little bit of nitrogen from the strut. This particular one is 1200 newtons which is roughly 120 kilos of, of support that it will give to the head and the head here is a lot less than that so I'll just gradually release a little gas at a time until I can manage to get the head to move up and down reasonably freely. I'll just release it once just so that you can get see how it works. So it's a little twist and then to tighten that locking nut up. Right, I've now released uh, the gas pressure um, to the point where this is more or less supported by the gas strut. Uh, this is not locked here at all now. So if I just loosen that off just to show you. And if I press this down, it goes down. And if I pull it back up, it goes up. It's just the handle that's falling off. Um, I'm sure I couldn't possibly have lifted this before. The only thing is it doesn't seem to come back up quite as far as it was to start with. I seem to have lost about an inch somehow. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'd do about that. It's in the strut somewhere. And that uh, goes up and down. It goes down slightly easier than it goes up. But it's a, a lot less than trying to lift that. It's so quite a heavy weight trying to lift that on my own. I don't know if I could lift it. And it's, it's very heavy. So, I now have uh, a gas support for gas strut support. And you'll notice probably that um, on the side here I'll put the bracket so that I can have my motor um, controls on the side. Um, and um, there'll be uh, a brush motor controller when I get it put on. And this is just in here temporarily just to take the weight. And you can see I haven't quite finished off the spindle here. So progress so that that part of it's done. A bit disappointed in the strut. Uh, but never mind, that's the best I can do. I solved the issue of whether the gas strut would allow uh, its full length to operate and it is due to the oil damping at the top of the stroke. So if we go around the other side at the bottom of here there's a section that has oil in it so when the stroke goes up the piston which is at the end of here comes down into the oil and dampens the last bit of movement and it is about that much also about an inch and a half two inches of travel and the rest of it is unaffected when it goes down it's only when it goes up to the top um, and I think what I shall do is to put a limit switch on the top, just taking out the, the top two inches or so, um, so that I can have very rapid movement without worrying about it. Um, it's slightly annoying, but not a real issue. So that's what I'm going to do with that.